Good evening, this is Kara Coffey with the Ministry of Uncovered No More. Um, so I'm being very courageous tonight. I don't know about you, but I know about me. And I've had a lot of negativity surrounding my artistic, spiritual side going on um, 13 years. And that's because um, the Christian world has betrayed me many times over and some of it even my own family members betrayed me because I had to do some things as someone who is what is known as elect that and I couldn't ask anybody because I was following the king of kings because I happened to be tribe Judah elect and we all know from the bible record as religious people it doesn't matter whether you're Christian or not lots of Muslims and whatnot know the same things okay because it's obvious and the Bible's an ancient text, and so the information within it has been around for quite some time. Um, and so it's, uh, I'm, you know, I'm sure that you're tired of talking about it, but you're not as tired of talking about it as I am, I can assure you, whoever you are. Um, excuse me. Uh, okay, I don't like how this came out, but this... That is good. This, the title of it is Horror. And um, I'm going to have a poem. I could hear it coming out as I began it. I shut down a bunch of stuff uh, the past three days because of things in my life that's nobody's business but mine. And... Um, Consequently, I was going to shut down my YouTube, and that's silencing my voice in a way that I'm not willing to do anymore. So I'm showing courage, because there are people in my life who want me to shut up and just do what they think I should do. Otherwise, they continue to blame me. Uh, their ability to prove me wrong one way or another, and also possibly uh, mentally off, mentally ill, which was the narrative coming out of my first book, if they didn't believe in the fact that demons can actually talk through people, then they just called me mentally ill, and that narrative was still jokingly said to me uh, just today, out of a person's mouth that can't help it because they were young when all of that stuff happened to me. I am being blamed for everything under the sun pretty much in varying different ways, but then if I try to talk to the people, it's like, oh no, I didn't do that. <laughs> but the point is, is they're not telling me what they did do. They're just putting expectation on me. And that's not what this YouTube is about. I want you to understand how much courage I have to start over again because I've done this many times across 13 years. And um, I used to say it was because of the testimony of the King of Kings in my life. Well, he is my friend. And it is doing him a disservice at this point to say that, particularly how he is manifesting on the earth. And how he's manifesting on the earth is not your business if you don't already know it. And I am certainly not going to tell you. I cannot ask the man to forgive me. That would hurt him. Because the people that actually need to ask his forgiveness could ask me to forgive them as well. Because uh, we're one voice at this point, he and I. And we don't have anything to prove, but he was telling me that in the spirit through the Holy Spirit, because I hear the voice of the Master, who is the King of Kings, as well as the King, who is a very personable gentleman. Um, I hear both. But that doesn't talk about the rest of my life, and that's none of your business anymore. America, you lost. You lost with the King of Kings, and now it's up to him what is next. In the flesh, I'm not speaking in the spirit. He's in charge of the New Jerusalem that is Austin, Texas. I don't personally feel like Austin, Texas and some of its inhabitants are behaving properly towards the King of Kings. 
but you know, nobody was asking me for the 13 years that I went through that hell and said that it was because of my testimony about him, okay? But it's almost like people are willing to blame him. <sighs> that being said, you may as well admit it to yourself, America, that he's already declared what isn't Christian in America, and I've already responsibly put it on my website. I'm not going to tell you which one. What I am going to tell you is that I brought up another website today because I have decided there is one not fucking Christian or Muslim or Buddhist Hindu. I don't care which religion you are. There's only one of you in the one place that I um, invested quite a bit of my life in and lost that life because everybody doesn't want to deal with the reality of the King of Kings in my life around me. <laughs> wow, you're so lacking in the fear of all capitals, God Father. God have mercy on me that I can have patience with a bunch of whatever you are is walking around that keep denying the testimony of the King of Kings. I don't know. Don't care. Don't care whether you live or die. Just don't care anymore. And you did that to me, America. Christianity, Muslims, Buddhists, Hindus, you name it. If you're a religion, you did it. Because y'all are all high-level spiritualists, low-level spiritualists, medium-level spiritualists. And the Holy Spirit's poured out on all flesh. Joel and Acts chapter 2 in the Bible. That's in the Bible. Joel and Acts chapter 2. Here's the Quran that I'm about to start slowly reading with some other things. Um, not because I need to be educated, but because I love Muslim people. And I want them to know that. Um, so, as I was saying... That's his business. Your bullshit. And um, I'm not going to say anymore that it's because of the testimony of the King of Kings in my life that I have uh, this horror that I need to deal with. <sighs> um, I'm going to say, henceforth, nothing. I've picked up my life. as it was before 2008. The only addition is the artwork that was set free in me and the writing when Curtis Edward Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering No More turned to me and said, you're gonna write a book and it's gonna be called Uncover No More. And that was September 24th or 25th. 2008, and then a demon of insanity took a hold of me, and Dad was the only one that could uh, exercise it, and everybody decided I was just going to be mentally ill all my life. Well, it isn't a mentally ill woman that goes and gets her mother against her own will, because I was tired of how my mother was and her family were lying about me. It is a, a mentally ill woman that does that. It's a woman who loves her mother and appreciates what she did do in my life, just regardless of the fact that her family pressured her to do what she did uh, between the years of 2017 through when she died, which was the exact day, but 10, 10 years later, when my uncle Robert Paul Beatty, who equally built the houses just like my father, he tried to commit suicide. Five days later, did die because Aunt Audrey, bless her heart, had to decide to pull the plug. He wasn't there, but he was. I had got to hug him, and I could tell he could recognize me by his breathing, which was a blessing to know that there was some consciousness still there. 
My dad didn't want, my dad always tried to quote unquote protect me from death, which is hilarious to me at this point because dad now knows who I actually am. And I'm not going to talk to you about that either. It's none of your fucking business. How I can tell the deliverance of people around me, according to Hebrews chapter 11. Okay, so what I really want to talk about is the fact that, that the Holy Spirit is poured out on all flesh, according to John and Acts chapter 2, and how... Um, for instance, a few days ago, I needed to take someone somewhere, and so I was doing so, and we were having a nice time, and this, I stopped a little bit, it, these were back roads, and I stopped a little bit short, or excuse me, a lot short from this, the stop sign, because, um, because this 18-wheeler was doing a gorgeous turn, and made it, and didn't ditch, and should have, and the gentleman had time he had black hair and a nice black beard and he was man he was working it beautifully artistically and uh, he had time to wave at me to thank me for having the forethought foresight so that he didn't have to avoid a vehicle as well and but i was just admiring his you know his his turn it's kind of the same thing as in my neighborhood on weir loop in oak hill texas which will always be my neighborhood and um Someday, somebody's going to figure it out that they're not going to get away with uh, what they've done. My dad, me, and Curtis Edward Coffey. I'm going to leave my mother out of this because of what her, her family has been doing to the babies all of our lives. I kid you not. I'm going to so leave my mom out of it and protect her. Um, but the three of us threw a covenant in the first house that was built. In the bedroom. We were standing there. And we decided to build that second house. And we threw a covenant. And my dad and me and Curtis are still true to that covenant. Ain't nobody else is. But Curtis and I are still alive. And so we're the only witnesses to it. Curtis tried to remind my mother that her brain was half eaten or three-fourths eaten or almost all the way eaten with E. coli. And she had dementia. You can't imagine the pain and suffering around her or that was piped through her, she wasn't really feeling anything for some reason. Okay, and particularly the last year of her life. She was very remorseful that she had hidden from me by the time I reached her and got her home. There is nobody who is ashamed of how they treated my mother and I across the last two years of her life. But I am here to tell you that you should be ashamed and you know who you are. You have caused and are causing tons of pain in my own family's life. And somehow you think I'm going to exonerate that before the King of Kings. Who already knows what you've done and had to pull me out of it. I've already announced that on another blog. I'm not going to tell you which one. Okay. This is going to pull out. This YouTube that I'm being courageous to start over and do is going to pull the fuck out. Because I believe in love. I believe in courage. My own particularly tonight. I believe that horror can be faced. And I am living proof that I believe that because I continue to lay my life down, as the Word of God says, and say, All hell King Jesus. Even though I won't step one foot in a church and I do not like in other words I hate the word Christian it means nothing but betrayal to me so don't call yourself that or a Jesus follower around me you won't like the look and I might have a few choice words for you sweeties so there's that and yeah I'll go back into your churches just for the fucking fun of it. <laughs> They're forcing me to anyway. I'm not going to explain that either. I'll have my fun. At your expense. And you'll never know. Because I can be as sweet as the pure driven snow. Okay. Christianity. Masquerade fucking on. Now. 
I am an expert at one thing anyway. Everybody doesn't want to admit anything nice about me anymore. <laughs> oh, y'all are so not nice. And you just expect me to keep taking it. Um, and that is, I'm an expert at it, pointing out how beautiful you are, according to Joel and I's chapter two. <laughs> so I'll keep doing that, because that's genuine. You're not genuine if you're around me anymore. You're not allowed to be genuine for one reason. You're users. And he, the king, has already declared you're not a Christian. You aren't what you say you are. And he heartily agreed with me that I needed to come out of the habits of all of my Christian life because y'all aren't what you said you are anyway. So it was a false economy is what I'm saying to myself. And I'm just talking to you, whoever you are, who decides you want to watch this YouTube that I have courage to, do, to, to, to produce because... Um, I'm a courageous person who dares to love and I never stop. And that's the one thing about me that some people that have been very negative, one in particular has been very negative, continues to attack me at times, does admit it's like, and I said, you know, I'm, I, I said today, I, I'm so, so fucking stupid. Because I never give up on love and I should so you go right ahead and keep on with your bullshit believe in your bullshit about me if that comforts your bad conscience before God because you're lying to me you're lying and since it's about me you might better hear it but if you don't just stay away keep staying away I don't want to have to lose you again. You already know I love you. I don't think you love anybody right now with that seared conscience of yours. And I don't want to talk about it. So let me be wrong for once in a respectful way. And um, just keep to the silence. Forever. You're lost. In the name of Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, amen.